This is the boat you're gonna be towing. Ah, I got a boat. Look at our Johnson. Look at, we can, oh. play, with, we can play with the Johnson. What's funny is this boat doesn't look that bad. No, it doesn't, like who knows. This car's been here since what? What year? Oh, I think 2010 maybe. So it's been here for five years. Five years. And it's still going strong. And uh, I just, it's still going strong until the last race when the field cell got punctured back here. <laughs> The trailer went through this metal area and and three times into the whoa. into the gas tank. Whoa! Wait. Whoa! This car held up again. It's pretty good. I don't see any huge gouges in the radiator. What the hell's in my car? I have part of boats and other stuff. Looks like. Why do they use my car as a trash can? Of course, any car that's left on the track gets used as a trash can. Because the fire and rescue guys don't really care. Otherwise, they just want to get off. That's your first time ever this trunk's ever been hurt. This trunk has been completely clean until oh, sorry. this race. My derby car is the freshest out of the bunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, this car, this car runs fine, right? From I, it had an issue uh, when the wheel came off, and that wasn't a motor issue. It's just purely. I mean, I was driving on three tires. <laughs> Can I ask what happened to your windshield? Yeah. What happened to your windshield? In the trailer, I said, I decided to drive through a camper. <laughs> Cheryl's you camper. did that? Look how, look how dangerous that thing is. Now you know why we put a screen and bar reinforcement behind. Uh, I, I'm a guessing you're going to cut this out for I'll the derby. Out, yeah. But look at that. It, something wow. pierced through it or something. I, I figured someone fell down on your car from a three-story building. So one thing I'm going to have to do to this car is replace the right front uh, rotor. Okay. Because I only have one lug in there. I went out there with two. <laughs> But I only have one. I don't get the problem. The radiator is junk. Because your car was too low to hit anything with the front end, you hit it with the windshield. But the radiator is completely trash. No front bumper. Who cares? Oh, you got half of one. The runt is pretty much uh, on its way out at this point because chain racing looks like it may have gone to the wayside. Um, this car is no longer of use to us. <laughs> the entire front end wiring is ripped out of the car. So there's, this car will never run again. This car had a hell of a run with us because it was maybe not the longest running car of the fleet that we've ever participated on the low budgets, but it had some of the most memorable moments. So that's cool. This thing had very memorable moments. Considering it's the fact that we pulled this car <laughs> off the dirt, like my 96 yellow car, yeah. and got them to run one day. Your 96 car was a success story, where this one made some moments, but most of them happened in the pits. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It no. teased, this car was the ultimate tease. Oh, it was. But I will say, this car w may be the one and only car that my girlfriend will be behind the steering wheel of. Literally behind the wheel of. She what drove it much. to a third place finish. Yep. Uh -huh. so. And three wheels. <laughs> we'll miss it. Just like we do every car. I still miss the Kia. Oh, yeah. The Kia was our very first compact car. It was the original skid play car. There we go. The original skid play car and that car would not quit. And if anything, it taught us to never say die. Yeah, yeah what a good start for us. Now look at us. You've been kicking ass with uh, the stripping. You stripped out two cars today. Two cars today and then two cars a different day. Um, what's good is these compact cars, you can strip them out pretty quick. I know, the big cars were like two well, days, three days of work. Yeah. And those things are all metal inside, and you've got to cut, and you've got, it's just crazy. These plastic things you rip apart and then take the windows out, and you're good. Tommy discovered something about this figure eight car. I did. I was walking around this area of the pits not too long ago today, and uh, we noticed that out on the track was a metal bumper. We didn't know who it came from. We never figured it'd be one of ours, but it was Jeffrey's. Remember how that car had an issue with the front bumper? It looked like someone tried to pick it up by the front end and we could see that half the bumper was being held on and i guess when you were out there you ran into something yeah that and, would that uh, would have been the first hit i had in the race too strange though the reason why we never assumed this car to be missing its metal front bumper because the plastic bumper is still attached yep it's probably gonna fall off right now so this car very well, likely will be our my derby car walking around it it doesn't look bad no it's not bad it's just is what's well, under the it hood. It runs funny. So uh, Jeffrey's going to go for a test drive. Remember, this car had some issues uh, last week. 
but we got the issues resolved enough for him to go out and run a uh, top 10 in a skid play for a great race. Yeah. I got a top 10 out of nine cars. <laughs> Sounds good. I know. You know this car is going to talk me in a keeper. I hate this car so much. This car is an asshole. thing though that, that will talk me into taking this car to the derby versus that one is that this car still overheats even with a new radiator. No, it's a great skid play car. Very comparable to uh, your car already. I'm sorry, your, uh, skid, your original skid play car. Yeah. Your S and J skid play this car. This one might, funny enough, have more pickup than that one. Oh really? This car could talk me into keeping it, that's the problem. Not necessarily a productive night, which is kind of surprising for how close well, we you get it. the most productive part of the day. Okay, Tommy wins. Tommy was productive all day long. Um, by the time I got here, we just did some test driving. I got a big decision to make. We have a car that I know drives like a toy. It just, how long is the motor gonna be happy to run like a toy? And then, uh, Similarly, I have a car over there that sounds good, runs good, seems healthy. So, I'll have to figure it out. That's a wrap here though, the low budgets. There's a spider. Got a spider on our elbow. Uh, the next time we'll be out here will be Friday night next week. Sarah will be painting the cars. Who knows what we've got on our plate then, uh, but you're gonna see it all unfold, and then the weekend after that is Night of Destruction. Oh boy. What's an Arba? <laughs>